Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video, you should be able to describe how bacteria become resistant to antibiotics. You should then be able to describe how we can reduce the rate of development of resistant bacteria. In the last video, we saw that we can use fossils to see how different species have evolved over time. Usually, evolution takes millions of years. However, there is one type of organism which evolves extremely rapidly, and these are bacteria. Under ideal conditions, bacteria can reproduce every 30 minutes. Because bacteria can reproduce at such a fast rate, they can evolve rapidly. Now in the past, many people died from diseases caused by bacteria. However, in the 1940s, doctors began to treat bacterial diseases using antibiotics such as penicillin. Antibiotics kill bacteria. Now, antibiotics are widely used in medicine. Antibiotics are also used in farming to prevent animals from developing bacterial diseases. However, in the last few years, certain strains of bacteria are no longer killed by antibiotics. These bacteria have evolved and are now antibiotic resistant. One common strain of antibiotic resistant bacteria is called MRSA. In the exam, you could be asked to describe how antibiotic resistance happens. So we're going to look at that now. I'm showing you here a population of bacteria. Imagine that these bacteria cause a disease in humans. In other words, they're a pathogen. Now, as we've seen before, in any population of an organism, there will be genetic variation due to mutations. It's possible that a mutation could make a bacterium resistant to antibiotics. So I'm showing you an antibiotic resistant bacterium here. Now, if we use an antibiotic, all of the bacteria are killed, apart from the bacterium that's resistant to antibiotics. So the antibiotic resistant strain survives and reproduces without any competition from other bacteria. And over time, the population of the resistant strain rises. The resistant strain now spreads, and that's because people are not immune to it, and there's no effective treatment. Now, it's really important that we try to reduce the development of antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria, and there are three ways we can do this. Firstly, doctors should not prescribe antibiotics inappropriately. For example, there's no point using antibiotics to treat a virus, as antibiotics have got no effect on viruses. Secondly, patients should make certain to complete their course of antibiotics. That makes sure that all of the bacteria are killed and none can survive to mutate and form resistant strains. And finally, we should restrict the use of antibiotics in farming. Okay, now researchers are currently developing new antibiotics. However, the problem is that this takes a long time and it's extremely expensive. And as new antibiotic resistant bacteria emerge all the time, it's unlikely that we'll be able to keep up. Remember, you'll find plenty of questions on antibiotic resistance in my Eurovision workbook. You can get that by clicking on the link above. 